Jojo in the morning family. I hope you guys are doing so good today because I get to talk about something that I absolutely love talking about. People ask me all the time, hey Jojo, what do you do for a living? I say, man, I move people forward and I help people advance. And they're like, okay, that's a unique answer. And so it's just easier than telling them all the different things that I do. But the word I want to talk to you about today that I want you to grab a hold of is the word advance. This is time. This is the time that the people of God have to advance the kingdom of God. This is the season that advancement has to happen. And this is the best time I've ever seen in my life for people to build according to the Spirit of God. There's such a strong anointing for people to just build. And I don't know what you're called to build right now. It may be to, to build a closer walk with God, to build a ministry, a business, a family, finances, whatever it may be. But this is a season to build. So I want to help you today to advance in whatever God has called you to advance in. So first scripture I want to talk to you about today is Proverbs 12, 14. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. We will be satisfied with good from the fruit that comes out of our mouth. And so what you got to understand is what are you speaking? What, what are you saying? You know, what you speak out of your mouth, you're, you're speaking things into existence. You're speaking what's going to happen the rest of the day, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of the year. You're speaking things. And whatever you speak out of your mouth, you're going to see that. You know, it's so unique. Um, when our, our three kids were young, the very things that my wife and I prophesied over them individually, according to the prophetic word of the Lord over their life, I mean, when they were babies, all three of them are literally doing and walking in the things that we prophesied over. I mean, it's so unique that you can hear a prophetic word for a child, prophesy the word of the Lord, and when they get older, they will walk in it. And it is all centered around their gifts, their talents, and their abilities. So we should be hearing the prophetic word that God has for us, and then we should be declaring and decreeing and making prophecies towards that. Then that scripture goes on to say, and the recompense of a man's hands will be rendered to him. So many times in life, things come against us, all types of things. I'm telling you, this is a season that we have to walk according to the Lord in all things. And as we do that, we're going to see some powerful, powerful things happen. I mean, it's just kind of like, in my opinion, an all-in season that we got to go all in with the things of God. Isaiah 43, 19. I absolutely love this scripture. It says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now, hang on, hang on. The Bible says that God will not do anything without telling the prophets first. So when you're running with apostolic prophetic people, you gotta understand the prophets are gonna prophesy the word of the Lord. The apostles are gonna start building it. Then the world is supposed to catch up. Advance, the kingdom of God must advance. When the true prophets of God start prophesying, the true apostles start building the world will hear secondary, and then they'll build according. That is an advantage that the kingdom of God has, okay? So behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now here's the best part of that scripture to me. He says he'll make a road in the wilderness have you ever noticed in the Bible that whenever God wants to do something great, he finds people to partner with? The ark got Noah, lead the children of Israel out of Egypt, Moses. Esther went before the king. You know, you gotta understand, God is always looking for somebody to 
advance his kingdom. And when God finds those people, people just like you, everything shifts, okay? Now I'm gonna give you a phrase that I live by. I pray like it all depends on God, 100%. And then I work like it all depends on me, 100%. One of the best things about me is my work ethic. I got an amazing work ethic. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done, okay? So I start my days in prayer to advance in the spirit. And then with my God-given gifts, talents, and abilities, and visions, and prophetic words, I go and I work. And I'm not afraid to put in long days. I'm not afraid to, to, to put in the time. I'm not afraid to reach out for help, for mentors, having people to speak into my life. You know, I'm doing that. And so just a simple phrase to live by, pray like it all depends on God, and it does. <laughs> and then work like it all depends on you, and it does. And when you put those two together, that is a one-two punch. God is looking for people who aren't lazy. God is not looking for lazy people. God is not looking for people who just want to sit around and twiddle their thumbs. He's looking for people who will get up, move forward, and advance the kingdom of God. I remember one time the Lord spoke to me because I was asking the Lord for a few weeks. I'm like, God, I, I feel like you give me a whole lot. I, I feel like you know, you're, you're putting a lot on me, which I, I don't mind. I love it. I got a good work ethic. I don't mind spending extra hours doing what I'm called to do. God, I mean, I feel like you entrust so much into me. Why is that? The Lord told me two things. Number one, you always say yes. You always say yes. And number two, you heal quickly. I heal quickly. <laughs> so always say yes to God, no matter what he asks you, okay? When he asks you to do something, here's the thing. You're not gonna be smart enough to do it. You're not gonna have enough money to do it. You're not gonna have enough help to do it. That comes along the way. And along the way, people are gonna hurt you. People are gonna come against you. It's just part of it. It's all throughout the Bible, test, trials, tribulations, but you heal quickly. God will fight your battles. You keep moving forward. Nehemiah told Sam Bala and Tobiah, I'm not coming down off this wall. I'm advancing. I'm doing a great work. So my friends, that's it. Keep moving forward and advancing the kingdom of God. Pray hard, work hard, and watch what happens. I sure love you guys. And hey, if you want any information about our mentoring program, the links will be below. We've got a phenomenal group. And then also, if you want prayer, go to my website. I would absolutely love to pray for you. Send me a paragraph, not a book. Just send me a paragraph, and I'd be honored to, to pray for you to help you advance.